we are going to get for you guys. This is the educational portion of our show. We have some experts. They're going to come by. They're going to dazzle you guys with their wit, their intelligence, and so on. I'm not overselling this at all. Jill, take it away. Uh, what's your favorite gourmet food? Turducken. Turducken. Nice. Um, what's an activity that you might do with somebody that you like, but who doesn't like you? Shopping. 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 Uh, a job that you kind of want, but you're kind of afraid of it at the same time. Police officer. A what? Police officer. A police, police officer. officer. Very good. Yeah, That's right. Uniform. So for reviews, we have our experts in the following fields. The expert... Turducken. Turducken. An expert in the field of shopping. Shopping and an expert in the field of I'm a pig. That's right. <laughs> he is a popo. <laughs> now, what we are going to do is we are going to instruct you about these various uh, fields of expertise, and every single field of expertise has what is called an acronym. You guys know what an acronym is, right? No. Yes. Well, I'm so glad you're here. That see. All right. Who let the kids in? We did. Okay. For example, CIA, we all know what CIA stands for, right? No, of course not. Central Intelligence Agency. However, for example, CIA would mean something different to each of their expertise. But they already know about CIA. I'm going to get these acronyms from you guys. Who's got a three-letter acronym for our panel of experts? NSA. NSA. Now, in your world, Whatever color that sky is. In your world, what does NSA stand for? <laughs> your kid's present. So, what does NSA stand for? No strings attached. No strings attached. Very good. Ooh. You study. All right. Now, each of our different fields of expertise have a different meaning for NSA. We'll let them take it away. May I get this one? All you. My name's Marjorie Ewing. And I am an expert in the field of turducken. Now, many of us know that a turducken is something that usually comes around once a year. It is a turkey that's been stuffed with a chicken, which has got a duck inside of it. So, NSA in my field of culinary arts means no such animal. Because there's no such animal as a turducken. It's something that we just made. Very Don't go to the zoo looking for a turducken. Yeah. You're not going to find it. Don't yes, yes. Uh, perhaps one of our other experts would take on the NSA. Yes, ma'am. My name's Penelope Brown, and one of the things I specialize in is shopping. That's correct. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Um, NSA, I spit a little too means no shoplifting allowed. Because when you're shopping, you need to pay for your items. You can't just lift them and take them without paying for them. So if you're with me, there's no SA, no shoplifting allowed. That's a, that's, that's good thing to know. Especially with Black Friday coming up, no shoplifting around. Speaking of shoplifting and breaking the law, perhaps we'd like to hear from our, uh, our expert on the police. Yeah, what about uh, eating some donuts, busting a perp? Taking them in handcuffs and throwing them back in the paddy wagon. Mm -hmm. Bouncing around a little bit with a bag of oranges, you know. Ooh. It's just there's one thing that as street cops we don't do. We, uh, we NSA, we never search the anus. <laughs> and uh, that's just a rule. It's just a rule. It's a rule. So, yeah. Never search an anus. You are safe. <laughs> <laughs> they won't search it. <laughs> All, right. All right. You know what? Those of you in the back, uh, you guys thought that you were kind of uh, safe. Does anybody back here have a, uh, a, an acronym for them? Must be a three letter acronym. OMG. Go ahead. OMG. OMG. <laughs> no way. <laughs> OMG. What does that mean? Oh my god, she doesn't know. <laughs> Sorry, I just helped you out. Okay. <laughs> now, interestingly enough, Gee, they pick mine well. <laughs> Each of our experts here have something different that OMG uh, stands for. They mean something different for Turducken's shopping and the uh, the police, and they they will of course uh, illuminate you in that. 
Oh, we have a tie. You know what? I'd like to hear from our shopping expert uh, first on this one. Oh, thank you. Um, well, in my shopping expertise, uh, it is the back room of the uh, J.C. Penney's, and it's the OMG room, which is only more goods. <laughs> yeah, see, see. Apparently, guys, the, the expert shoppers, you didn't know there was a secret stash there. That's Not much of a secret right now, because uh, you just kind of, kind of gave it away. But our, our introduction expert, uh, almost, almost right there. You know what? Yes. I, I'd like to hear about the uh, the uh, OMG introduction. Well, you know, when you are making a turducken, you need to roast it in your oven. And when you're roasting it, you cannot just stick it in your oven. What you have to do is you have to make sure that it stays moist. So what you have to do is you have to put some sort of basting material on it. So OMG means olive oil, margarine, or ghee. And for those of you who don't know what ghee is, it is a reduction of butter that Indian people use in their cuisine. Olive oil, margarine, and ghee. Oh, I am too no. I am I am hungry. I want the OMG, no MSG. Okay. You know what I like to hear from our police officer. Yeah, right there. yeah. So yeah. after you know, I eat my jelly donut, and I shoot somebody, and then maybe I make an arrest or two. You know what I'm saying? No. Uh, uh, like me. Well, the the cops around, you know, the, the, the yeah, yeah, the cops, but uh, my buddies, my crew. Uh, we always have a saying when we're on a we're on a bus. It's O M G, and it's uh, obviously manhandle girls. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, if anybody has would like to get manhandled after the show, uh, our officer will uh, stay away from this row. Yeah. We'll explain it when you're older. Um, you know what? You know what? I'd like to challenge them. I want to I challenge our group here. I mean, we, we, we were kind of kind of kind of taking it easy with the three-letter acronyms. I'd like to hear acronyms longer than three letters. That's right. Oh yeah, we're going off the hook now. Oh, I still can't pull that off. Okay. Uh, anybody have a, a longer uh, acronym than than three letters? BFF4L. <laughs> I like her. All right. Say it again. BFF4L. BFF4L. And what is uh, what is BFF4L? Best friend for life. Best, Best friend forever for life. life. Oh, we got four letters and a number. <laughs> BFF4L. Would you like me to spell it for you guys? <laughs> they, they all went to public school. Uh, so they're not familiar with some of those. Uh, yes, our Turducken expert on BFF4L. Well, when you eat poultry, one of the reasons why we enjoy poultry is because it is not as fatty as some of the red meats that we eat. So we like to have um, something a little leaner protein-wise. So BFF4L would be, uh, it's better fat-free for your liver. So you don't have a lot of that cholesterol that's building up in your body, which can potentially be dangerous over a period of time. Ah, see, we are saving lives here. We are saving lives, starting with the liver. Yes. Uh, one of our other experts, obviously, is going to go, oh, yes, our shopping expert. Um, thanks. Um, usually I shop with a buddy and um, what I like to do is have them wait outside for me and I love it to go shopping on Black Friday which is for if, I, if, if, if people don't know it's the day after Thanksgiving it's called uh, Black Friday and so if I have a friend drive me and they wait for me they wait for me by the fire lane so Black Friday fire <laughs> <laughs> for fire lane. Um, I'm so nervous being up here. A uh, Black Friday for fire lane. <laughs> it's where my friends wait for me. And then I come right out with my bags and I don't have to go looking for my car and I just put my stuff in there and we go to the next spot. The next store, not the spot. 
In her defense, she is dyslexic. <laughs> she, it, it's okay. It's all right. You'll, you'll be fine when you go to CJ Penney's. Um, yeah, so because I'm an LAPD officer, so we get a lot of uh, people from other countries, other cultures, other, you know, everything in the city. Uh, you know, when, when the guys are coming in and we're busting up something, it's a B F F four L. It means uh, bust filthy French for loitering because <laughs> nobody wants the French hanging around their place of establishment. See, so yeah, B F a bust French. That's what we, that's that is the French. That is true. <laughs> and on the plus side, they'll just surrender really easily. Yeah, anyway, exactly. uh, this is our acronym panel. That's right. Your